Hello and welcome to our MBS FileMaker Events Calendar 2024. This year our logo monkey has turned into a Christmas elf and has to take care of the coordinated distribution of presents at Christmas. What could be more obvious for our monkey than to get an overview with a FileMaker database? Over the next 24 days we'll show you how to dress up a simple database with the help of the MBS FileMaker plugin. All you need is to have fun learning FileMaker. Today we'll start by creating the database and work our way through step by step. Even if the advanced calendar is suitable for beginners, advanced users and professionals can certainly use some of the ideas from the advanced calendar from their own proposals. Normally, the advanced calendar is available on our website in our blog as written text. But for the first door, we have also recorded the video to make it easier to get started. So, let's start with our first door and therefore with the basis of this calendar. Our FileMaker database. We are making this database available to you but it can be useful to deal with the topic of how such a database can be set up. At first we only have a few tables, which we will expand in the next days of the advanced calendar. Initially, our database consists of three tables. At first we have a table that we name Gifty. So we change here the name to Gifty. That is our main table. In this table we find the information about the gifty, such as first name, last name, the day of birth, the birthday and this birthday field is of type date so change it then the address and we Split this address into single components like street, city, postcode, state, and country. In addition, each gifty has their own identification number that can be uniquely assigned to them. In this example, we call that a primary key. We see it here. It is created in our database automatically. We would also like to include the telephone numbers and email addresses. But there is a problem because a gifty can have different phone numbers or email addresses and we would like to use this possibility to include them in our database. For this reason we need a telephone and an email table in which we can record this data. So we add the table telephone and the table email. Both of these tables need fields, like here for telephone the number and the type. And for the table email the same we need here um, email 
address and the type. Now we need to link the gift A with the email table and the telephone table. And for that we use a foreign key that is in the email table and in the telephone table that is a field. In this field we save the primary key of the gifty so that we can connect this record that belong to a gifty with the appropriate gifty. So that we do with the telephone table two. Here we have the foreign key. And now we need to link that tables in the relationship diagram. And here we see our tables that exists. We have here telephone and email and here our gifty table and here we have the primary key there we have the foreign key so we want here a relationship between primary key and foreign key so we drop here from primary key to foreign key the relation and here we have the primary key and the foreign key too. So with this we are completed in our database schema for now and we would like to create our layout as well. So we see here at first all of our fields and that doesn't look nice by now. So we go in our layout mode and first we delete all the fields here and we see that we do something wrong because we have here all these fields as dates so we change it in manage database so we can see here our manage database dialog and here we change it because we only want date field for the birthday and so we change it for each. So we want to take our fields into the slide out and we, we want our labels above the fields and we want our first name and last name next to each other. So we have them here and we don't want the underscore in the label names so we can change the label names here first name and last name and then we have here our birthday and then the address and here we want our labels inside of the fields we want the street here the city and the postcode the state and the country. So that's it. And we want here a label with a 
name address so we click here on text and add address well of course we want to see our telephone numbers and email addresses in our layout so we use portals for this so we can drag a portal into our uh, layout and then we choose the table from which we want the data and in this example it is at first telephone and here we can set some properties for the portal and we want to allow vertical scrolling because if we have more than for example three telephone numbers then we need to scroll because we want to see them all and here we have the possibility to define how many rows we want to see in our portal and here we add two and here we can choose the fields that we want to see in this portal and this is first number and then type and here we have it and then we can adjust it a bit drag it a bit away from the address and add a label And we do the same for the second portal. Now we see all the fields that we want to see. Of course we want to add some beauty to this thing and since we are going to create different layouts we want to create our own customized design. To do this we first change something in our layout. For example here the top navigation so we go to our top navigation and we want to change here the color of the background of the top navigation to a green and for that we use here this green we now see that a uh, red arrow lights up next to the style here this means that FileMaker wants to point out that this is not the original style of the selected design here we now have the option of overwriting it or to create a new style I always recommend that you create a new style so that you always have the option of going back to the original style. So we define our new style and we name it top nav back. This style is only available on this layout because we save it in the style and not in the theme. So we go to the as table telephone, so we need to save it, and go to top navigation and want here to, uh, to find the top nav back. So we don't find it here because it is only in the style. And because we want to see it here too, we go to go back to our table and then we have here our theme. Next to our theme there is an arrow that is also in red. And here we have also the possibilities to choose if we want to create a new theme or we want to change the original theme. And here also the recommendation that we save a new theme. 
and this we name Edwind24. Okay. And now we can go to telephone and here choose Advent 24 and go to top navigation and have here top nav back and can choose it here. So we want to add some other things in our theme so we have here we change the background of the body add here as title If we have now created a new design, we can change it to our likings. Of course, the logo of our Christmas elf monkey should not be missing. To do this, we simply drag our logo into the application and can then use the mouse to set the size and position. Here is a little tip, if you press the shift key at the same time as scaling with the mouse, the proportions will be retained. So we can scale it and set it here. And we want also add some candy canes here.
now our database is ready for the next days and i hope we see us tomorrow for the second door